Well, thank you very much for the invitation. Um, we want to welcome you all wherever you are um, to the music of the Andes Mountains. It is our pleasure to be here today sharing with you all um, music from Ecuador, Bolivia, and Peru. Um, we're going to start with a traditional tune from Bolivia. And uh, we hope that you enjoy this time with us with Kusitaki and um, welcome. Thank you. 
Estoy huchito Cantando alegría Charanguito andino Kirkinchito aliento Cantando tus penas A la Pachamama
las fiestas de mi pueblo En la charca chi hay una luz como estrella Testigo de mi amor En las fiestas de mi pueblo En la charca chi hay una luz como estrella Testigo de mi amor Su pollera crece al salvar Como el viento que va en la mar El bailar de su pollera Ritmo de mi bombo Su pollera crece al salvar Como el viento que va en la mar El bailar de su pollera Well, the song that you have just heard called A Charcachi from Bolivia um, brings in all kinds of instruments. One in particular, which is called the Sampoña. Before we go into the next song, I want to tell you a little bit about this instrument, which is one of my favorites. Um, it's a reed instrument made of totora, which is a reed that grows along the lake uh, Titicaca, which is the highest navigable lake in the world located between Peru and Bolivia. So this is the material that the Inca people used and use today to make their instrument. Um, this is how small this instrument can get. You may not be able to see it from where you are, but, it's, but you may be able to hear it. It has a very high pitch because we have tiny little um, pipes. Small children learn how to play the pan pipes starting off with something rather small. Once they graduate, per se, then their parents give the child a different instrument, something a bit bigger, um, a little bit more complex.
So once the child gets good at this size, they move to the next level, which is the, the most common size of samponias or pan pipes. And it's this one here. So as the child grows older, um, you know, they learn how to play uh, with bigger uh, instruments. So this is called um, maltas. Once they get good at this size, then they move to the sankas. And it gets a little bit more complicated because it requires a lot of breath, a lot of oxygen. Um, a musician has to learn how to breathe and in order to play these instruments. Um, once we get good at this size, or playing this size of samponias, sankas, we move to perhaps the hardest uh, level of samponias or panpipes, and that would be the toyos. The air has to have enough pressure in order to travel from this hollow side all the way down here, which is plugged. And it has to have enough pressure in order to vibrate the walls of the pan pipes. And that, that is what you hear as the sound of the pan pipes. Well, we are going to uh, play an, uh, another song. And I hope you all are enjoying this music. And uh, the name of this next song is Jacta y Manta, originally from Ecuador. And we are going to use a, an instrument that is a close relative of these big pan pipes and the other ones that I showed you. And it's called Rondador. It's only one set, whereas the other ones are two sets of uh, pan pipes. Um, and this is what it sounds like. It's like all of the pipes are all intertwined. So you hear a, a diverse, you know, sound when, when we play this song. So Jahta Manta for you all.
Well, we are uh, we are having a lot of fun here, and and we hope that you all um, are enjoying the sounds of these instruments wherever um, you are. Um, once again, we want to welcome you all to music from the Andes, music from the countries of Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. All of these instruments are handmade. Um, and it is such a pleasure to have the opportunity to experience this moment in time um, with my friends and amazing musicians. And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you all um, to my friends here and members of this group as well. I'll start with Daniel Martinez. And you will get the chance to listen to uh, Daniel Martinez. He is a virtuoso when it comes to the string instruments, in particular uh, the guitar. So Daniel Martinez is from uh, Peru. Um, then we have Eric Asabache, um, great friend, um, great musician as well, great percussionist. And uh, he is also from Peru. And then we have uh, Jamie Fristo. And here he plays with us. He's been playing with us for the past 10 years. And um, he's just a good person, a good friend, and a great percussionist as well. So, and uh, my name is Oscar Rios Poirier. Um, I come from southern Mexico. I have played this music since I was 10 years old. And um, this music has brought life to me. This music has elevated me during the times when I feel sad, during the times when I am frustrated. This music simply gives me life, and this is the life that we want to share with you all today. So next, we are going to play a song that you may recognize. Um, Simon and Garfunkel wrote a, uh, the lyrics for this song, but Originally, this song was um, from uh, Peru. And to a certain extent, this song, The Flight of the Condor, or El Condor Pasa, um, has become, to a certain extent, the, uh, the anthem, the national anthem of Peru, because this is a song that you will hear everywhere in the world. Thank you. 
Well, um, let me tell you a little bit about this instrument, which, is, which I thought and I still think that is the coolest thing I have ever seen. This is called charango. It's a tiny baby guitar. It has 10 strings in the back. There's a carving of the sun. Um, but originally, these charangos, these small instruments, were made out of the shell of an armadillo. And I just happened to bring one with us that I'd like to show you. And here it is. It is uh, it's tiny. Um, this particular kirkincho, which is uh, the, you know, quichua uh, name for this armadillo, this one in particular has hair. It is, I mean, it is crazy, but there's just a lot of hair here. Uh, so the Inca people ate the, the meat of the armadillo, and then they saved the shell in order to make their instrument. They no longer do that because this... Um, tiny little animal is in danger of extinction, but I just happen to, to have one of those um, with me. Um, originally, uh, also, these strings were made out of the guts of a pig, and the machines here were made out of just wood uh, pegs. And the sound that uh, this instrument makes is, it has a high pitch. Really, it just brings, it just, it, the, the um, translation of charango, uh, which is the Quechua word for this instrument, it's mischievous. So this instrument actually brings the whole instrument together with life and, and just uh, enjoyment. And that's what you hear when, when we play this music and the charango is also involved. Um, but at this point in time, I would like to showcase a, uh, a member of our, of our group, uh, uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Martinez. And um, he is, as I said before, a virtuoso with the guitar. I have asked him to play one a piece for you all, um, and we hope you enjoy it.
Well, it is time to um, um, to play uh, the last song. I, I don't like to say goodbye, but uh, so long. I think that is better said. Um, we definitely enjoyed this time here and this invitation as well. And just know that we that we'll come back anytime you want us back, because what we try to give you today is hope. Hope in the fact that we are alive, hope in the fact that we can communicate with each other, no matter how different these instruments are from each other. Each one of them has a unique flavor. But once we put these flavors together, the synergy, the sounds that they make is simply unbelievable. It elevates us to a higher level. So thank you again for um, just joining us uh, today. The last song that we are going to play uh, today, it's called Pájaro Campana. It is the sound of a bird. And it is a call and response between the guitar and the flute and just going back and forth. <laughs> 